First we'll want to cut the stickers that are on each side of the servo so that when we take the screw out it will split there. Then we're going to take these two screws that are in the bottom out. With the screws removed it should pop apart with just a little bit of pulling. As things come apart be sure to not drop or lose any of your pieces. There's these two tabs that hold everything in so we'll need to push on those tabs to get the motor and speed control to slide out. And then with a little pressure you should be able to pull it out. Now hooked up to a receiver that's turned on and centered, we can twist this little plastic piece and see the motor move and stop and we want to get that plastic piece positioned so the motor is not spinning. Once we have it not spinning, we can super glue that plastic piece in place so that the motor will only spin with command from the radio. Here I'm marking one side of the board and one side of the motor and then we are going to use a soldering iron to remove the motor from the board. With just a little bit of pressure on the motor you can heat up the solder here and that tab should come loose and then we'll do the same on the other side. Now we have our motor separate from the speed control. Next we want to solder on some short wires so that it'll be easier to position our motor and speed controller in the truck. Then we need to solder those wires back to the speed controller making sure that we align the mark on the motor with the mark that we put on the speed control. With everything soldered back together, the motor is now ready to be positioned into the truck. It should now be a functioning motor that you can connect to your receiver and go forward and reverse.